So Natasha, we are back here in the same venue that two weeks ago you absolutely thrilled us all in your fight with Katie Taylor. How are you reflecting on that? A couple of weeks as fast as dust has settled. Yeah, I think, you know, I have watched the fight back just for scoring purposes only once. Um, and I, I, I've got nothing bad to like reflect on. You know, I, I only take the positives. There's a few things that I learned, you know, that I wouldn't do in the next fight. There was things I didn't do that I should have done. And yeah, apart from that, it's, it's all positive. You know, I, 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 my whole point was to prove that I was world level and, and I think I did that. I think you absolutely did that and then some. You say there are the things that you learnt and the things you want to improve on. Can I ask what they are? Yeah, there was things that I think um, Katie had a bit more experience in, like the championship rounds and how to nick around. And, um, and I was a bit inexperienced and kind of let her do that. Um, so it was just little things like that that, you know, you go away and work on. And from round three or four onwards, or oh, one of the things we'd worked on was an uppercut. And Joe was screaming it from, from round three, just let it go, just let it go, just let it go. And, and I, di I didn't throw as many as I should have. So, you know, again, experience. Hindsight is a wonderful oh, thing, isn't it? <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. That, that's always the case, isn't it? You seem to be in a really good place. I mean, all through that fight week and even the Harper fight as well, you seem to have really grown in confidence. Is that, is that so, do you think? Yeah, I think I've, you know, I've gone away and worked on myself and not necessarily the physical side. It's, you know, sometimes the biggest challenges in boxing, people think, oh, yeah, it's going to be physical, you know, getting stronger, getting bigger, and, you know, the training, and it's not. It's, it's the mental side. And, you know, I had to pick myself up from a very low place after the open off. And since then, I've been building on myself and working on myself. And, you know, hopefully that shows in my last few performances. I loved your post-fight interview with Andy Scott after the uh, Taylor fight because you were just calling out Eddie. Eddie, <laughs> yeah. wanting to answer the questions, because you, your list, you're growing quite a list, aren't you, of rematches that I guess we, we want you to have. Do you want those rematches with Terry Harper, Casey Taylor, or what, what do you want? Listen, I'll have whatever fight, whenever like fight. List. Yeah, there's a hit list. <laughs> Anyone who's got a belt, I've said it a million times. Anyone who's got a belt, 130, between 130 and 140, you're on the list. <laughs> <laughs> and that's basically, I've seen there was a tournament being announced. Uh, possibly for 140s, you know, there's the, the option of the, the rematch with Taylor. We're still, you know, not over the Terry one either. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of options. And I think, you know, even in defeat, my, my stock has grown. So if you could pick one of those options, all of them, <laughs> all of them <laughs> at, on one. the one night. <laughs> so what are you doing now? Is it downtime, busy being mum, I'm sure? Wishing yeah. you were back training. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, luckily enough, there's no homeschooling, so I'm, I'm I'm quite good in that in that aspect. But yeah, it's just you know going back to you know there's so much time, and that you miss, uh, and you know you sacrifice to do the training. And obviously, she was a lot along with me for a bit of the camp. But you know when she's back at school, and I have my nan, my cousins, my sister looking after her just for for the late night sessions and stuff, and. Yeah, just, just catching up on time and enjoying the time being at home. I've made so many meals, home-cooked meals. It's, it's been a great time, and I think she just enjoys just having mum to herself for a little oh, bit. I bet, I bet. Precious time as well. You're also quite busy, because aspirations outside the ring, you're interested in starting a charity. It's not quite got off the ground yet, but, but tell us about that. Yeah, it's just a, a charity. I'm, I'm big on you know, giving back to the community in, in, in Liverpool at the minute. We, we have a, a big issue with knife crime. I think it's you know, up and down the country, not just Liverpool. Um, and yeah, you know, there's, there's certain members of the family that's been a victim of it and, you know, we want to work on that. And, you know, if you've got a platform that you should use it positively and you've got the a voice to speak for other people, you should use it like, you know, um, Marcus Rashford does in, in the, the school campaigns meal. And it's just something like that, you know, I'm working with the young young children in the area to try and prevent them before it gets to that age and before it gets to that stage. Definitely. Do you have a plan? Do you have a cut-off point? Do you have an exit plan? No, or if you really. do, you're not <laughs> going to tell me, are you? Yeah, no, no. I, I mean, I've always said I want, I want a world title. Like, it kind of defeats the object in coming back if you, if you go away again and you haven't hit the target that you set out to do. So, you know, once I've got that world title, I'll make that decision from there, if, you know. If Saturday would have been different, who knows what would have happened? Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm still active. I'm still, you know, mentally there. I'm still physically there. I can, you know, prove just being, you know, ten rounds with the pound for pound best 
in the world and, and I proved that I can be there and I can perform at that level. So while I've still got everything going in the right direction, um, I'll, be, I'll be still boxing. Well, we can't wait to see you back in the ring again. Cheers, thanks.